Okay, we're starting off turn number nine with three hit points, having used both healing surges. So if we use the third one, then we're getting into the like training wheels rules. We're, we're currently adjacent to the zombie, so we're going to use our um, careful attack to just automatically deal one damage without any roll required. So the zombie goes down, put the zombie over here, take the zombie card, goes into our experience pile, and now we'll start updating our sheet. So we did not have to use a surge token this turn. We attacked. We will get a treasure, so let's look at the treasure now. Hopefully it's a useful piece of treasure and not some worthless garbage like last time. Guided strikes. Played immediately. Until the end of your next hero phase, each hero gains a plus two on attack rolls. I don't know how that's... Discard this at the end of your next hero phase. This is absolutely worthless to me because... Maybe not. We'll see. All right, so I'll place that down here so I can hopefully remember I have it. So now Alyssa's going to move because she's no longer immobilized. And we're going to say can, she can move six. So we can go one, two, three, and we can go four, five, or we can just go four, or we could go four, five, six. See if I counted that right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could come all the way down here. But in terms of tiles away from straw, it doesn't matter. So let's just go to this one. So we moved. We explored. Let's see what kind of tile we got. I know we're still a ways away from the secret stairway. I think, anyway. Because it's the 11th tile we draw. And how many have we drawn so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got a ways to go. All right, we got a black tile, so we have a forced encounter. And we're going to place a monster. So let's get our monster out. It's a wolf. Could be worse. Grab our wolf. Well, the wolves are pretty good. Place it on the bone pile. We have a forced encounter because it was a black triangle. And there's no villain yet. So now the uh, gargoyle that's still way up there is still up there. The zombie's gone now and now we have a wolf. So the gargoyle activates and doesn't do anything. Then the wolf activates if the wolf is adjacent, it's not. If it's within two tiles, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero and pounces. Okay. So it's going to move adjacent to us. So it's going to move here. It's going to pounce. Pounce gets a plus seven on the roll. If it hits, it does one damage and slows us down. And if it misses, it misses. Let's miss. 